Do you know what is the second most important thing which is in our kitchen uh, commonly and uh, which is not good for our health? Today I'm going to talk about that. Welcome to another interesting topic and uh, thank you so much. We have reached uh, 100 subscribers last week. Thank you so much for your love. I spoke about sugar which is the most important thing which is uh, uh, hitting our health badly and uh, we need to avoid it or reduce the intake and uh, now today I'm going to talk about another interesting thing the second most uh, uh, important one which we need to reduce the intake uh, and uh, choose the right uh, right option so that is uh, refined oils which we use for cooking in our kitchen almost all of us use refined oil uh, let it be sunflower, let it be groundnut, uh, rice bran, uh, soybean oil. Let me explain why refined oils uh, are bad for our health. Refined oil means uh, over processed at a really high temperature and pressure to extract the oil and the oils uh, after that uh, the processing happens to deodorize, decolorize and a lot of other processes to um, look good, to make the oil look good and uh, smell good and uh, make it transparent. So in this process of uh, in this process of deodorizing and uh, making refined oil, uh, we will lose lot of lot of essential nutrients in the process, and uh, we will get uh, the oil gets transfers into the oil, which is not at all good for our health. Not only that, a few chemicals are added to the uh, added in this process to um, to increase the shelf life of uh, uh, refined oils. Observe how many times you are having oil intake in your day, uh, how many times and how much in quantity you are having it. Just observe uh, in your daily life. Due to this over process and refined oils. Uh, uh, you see, lot of lot of diseases are um, consequences of using these oils. It leads to increase in body fat, weight gain, obesity, um, certain types of uh, cancers, uh, type two diabetes, and heart diseases, heart diseases, and uh, suicidal thoughts, depression, arthritis, inflammation, and physical and mental distress. Refined oils are the outcome of a lot of processing, hydrogenation, bleaching and adding chemicals and uh, preservatives to increase the shelf life and uh, they are heated at extract, oil is extracted at really high temperature and pressure and so this alone makes it um, have a trans fat which is really bad for our health. It doesn't mean we need to completely avoid uh, oil. Uh, at all from our diet no we need to have uh, good fat for our survival uh, from from our diet so that is by using right oil we need to have right ratio of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids solution is choosing the right oils those are cold pressed oils or wooden pressed oils uh, if you see ancient times or if you go back to villages you will see the way of extracting oil in uh, small mills and uh, small industries you see that cold pressed oils you can see in villages how they make um, not using a um, lot of processing and a lot of high temperatures so that is good for our health uh, you can go for coconut oil, rice bran oil, sunflower oil, uh, groundnut oil, soybean oil whatever is uh, cold pressed you can go for it. that is good for our health you can use desi cow ghee uh, as cooking oil. So solution is uh, you know, you can if if possible go for cold pressed oils and avoid fried foods uh, outside where uh, uh, the refined oils cheapest refined oils are used and uh, heated again and again. And one more thing, do not heat the oil again. Do not reuse the leftover oil. Normally we do at our homes. So that we need to reduce. Reduce the intake of oil and reduce the reheating of the oil. Reheating again really really uh, 
dangerous for our health. It will increase the uh, increase the trans fats in the oil and uh, makes the oil unpleasant. So reduce the oil intake. Uh, choose the right oil and uh, do not reheat the oil. Uh, so these are the these are the tips um, which is really which is really important in our daily life to which will make you fit. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, see you in another interesting video.